here is some <clears throat> disturbing news. Okay, America is in a literacy crisis. Okay, let me pull up these pictures. Okay, that I have. Okay, what is the U.S. ranked in literacy? The U.S. is ranked 125 for literacy amongst all countries. Okay, it is true that literacy rate have been trending for over the last two decades. Okay, however, according to some study. There's still an estimate of 600 million children in primary and lower secondary schools that lack minimum proficiency in reading. What's more eye-opening is that 750 million adults still cannot read a simple sentence. Low literacy also costs the U.S. at least $200 billion each year and non-productivity in the workforce and loss to tax revenue due to unemployment. 10 countries with the highest literacy rate. Norway, um, Luxembourg, I think this says, and Adara. Okay, so I don't know who those are, but those are <laughs> the statistics. They say the average child or the average 12th grade is on a fourth grade reading level. The average adult can read past second grade level. What? How is this possible? When people got $1,000 iPhones, they got $300, $400 sneakers, they got $800 uh, 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 Playstations, and they can't read? And then they say this credit, the, 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 the math scores are up, the reading scores are up. How? How? Unless they're lying. All right? How's the reading scores up? And then on Google and chat GPT, it says that the reading scores are low. And it's been at its all-time low. And it's been at its all-time low. It's been stagnant for a decade or more. Who knows? And then right now, it's at its all-time low. So if the reading levels is at its all-time low, the math levels are also at its all-time low. Can't have reading levels high and math levels not. Because math, you still have to read. So, it's very sad. It's just very sad, right? That we're living in America, the wealthiest country. And the reading levels are at its all-time low in history. What are we doing? What are some solutions? You start with your child. You start with you. If you know you can't read, pick up a book and start reading it, right? I'm going to put my Amazon link because I got a whole bunch of books that you guys can start reading. Go buy you some books. Go spend $200 to start building up your library, right? Start building up your library. I listen to audiobooks. I listen to podcasts and I read books. I got my 15-year-old reading a book a month. Not a book a year, a book a month, right? So that builds her stamina. As she be get, becomes an adult, she becomes better at reading, right? So it's up to us, not up to the president. It ain't up to Donald Trump. It ain't up to Biden. It's not up to the school. Now, the school, yes, has a part to play in it. But if you want your child to succeed, you got to give them the tools to succeed. You know, the school is the prison to pipeline. Right? You know that. The kids, all the schools is made just like the jails are. And they had a proposal that said if the kid, if the school have any type of space, that can be a classroom. So a closet can be a classroom. A hallway can be a classroom. A closet can be a classroom. A closet ain't that big. But guess what? That's training them for solitary confinement. Two kids can fit in a classroom, which is a closet, solitary confinement, right? So it's up to us, guys. And these principals and superintendents are voting on this. <laughs> principals and superintendents are voting to have classrooms in closets. I <laughs> think what? Having classrooms in hallways. 
Come on, guys. We have to do better. And it's up to us. It's really, truly up to us. So America is in a, a, a financial crisis, yes, but also a literacy crisis. And the leaders, who's going to be the next president? Who's going to be the next senator? Who's going to be? We already got 80 and 90-year-olds running the country. It's already a shit show. We got 80 and 90-year-olds running the state. It's already a shit show. We need young innovators. Black young innovators. Back in the day, in the 20s, 1800s, we had less doing more. Now we got more doing less. It's a shame. It's a shame. So it's up to you, right? It's up to you to start moving forward, right? Start reading a book. Again, I got a list of books. I'm going to do a video on a list of books. I hit up some of my black authors. They're going to be sending me their books. I ordered some books on Amazon and I'll be doing a whole video on Instagram and YouTube, right? On a list of books that you can start reading for the summer, winter, fall, <laughs> autumn, <laughs> reading, period. So we got to get better at reading. We got to do better, friends. And the time is now. Make sure you guys follow me on all platforms at Coach Tanisha Marie. See you guys soon.